and welcome. Come on in. We're so glad you could make it today. Oh, hey, welcome to the nursing lab. Here's your stethoscope and your scrubs. I can see you're really excited to get exploring. Something to note is that everything here looks, feels, and even smells like real hospital ward. Follow me and I'll show you around. Oh wait, before we head into the lab, let's grab some supplies from the supply room. Come on. Here in our supply room, you can find everything from IV pumps to fake blood to medications and syringes. You name it. There are tons of things we can use to practice our skills. Hey, can you please take this to the lab room for me? Thanks. Let's go. Okay. Welcome to the lab room. Come on in. Oh, I was looking for that. Thanks. All right, welcome to the nursing lab. We have two lab rooms here at UBCO, and everything is set up to replicate the hospital setting. Across the hall, we also have three simulation rooms. Our labs are very interactive and very hands-on. If you come on over here, all the beds come with fully functioning oxygen, suction, and even room air. Also, we practice all our skills on each other and the sim dolls. Hey, so these sim lab dolls are really cool because we can practice so many nursing skills with them. Some skills that we can learn are how to start IVs, how to give medications, how to do dressing changes, and even how to start blood transfusions. Super exciting. We've mentioned a bit about how we practice skills on each other and our sim dolls. We actually invite patient volunteers from the community in our living lab. This is a very competitive aspect of UBC Okanagan's nursing program. In these patient volunteer labs, they help us learn about how they live their lives with various health conditions. Let's move on to the next room. Welcome to our simulation lab. Here, we're given very challenging scenarios where we have to use our critical thinking skills and work as a team to problem solve together. And we use our simulation dolls to help us out with that. These sim lab dolls are super helpful because they can help us practice so many nursing skills. We can take their heart rate, take their blood pressure, and even program them to have different types of heart and lung sounds. Why don't you try it out? All right, let's give it a listen. Fun fact, so each one of these simulation dolls costs about $30,000, and each one of them is named after either a Guardians of the Galaxy character or someone from Star Wars. Hey, so all of our nursing instructors can actually watch us through this one-way glass over here. Additionally, from this booth, our instructors can provide us with feedback, talk to us with microphones that actually built into the sim dolls, change up the scenario, and even call us for report. There it is. Hello, Nurse Plessy here. Hi, this is Nurse Plessy. I just wanted to say that you're doing a really great job. All right, so we've completed our simulation. We're not quite done yet, so let's move on to the next stop of our nursing hallway tour. So we talked a bit about patient volunteers and even simulation dolls and practicing skills on each other. So UBC Okanagan hires actors that replicate certain mental health conditions, for example, depression and extreme anger. Let's go check it out. So these scenarios can get really intense, but this is a great opportunity for students to practice interacting with patients and even relational practice skills. Where's my medication? I need my medication. I can't breathe. I need my medication. Where is Can I it? Get I that? need it. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, that was pretty intense. Let's move on to the next stop. Welcome to Open Lab. There's a lot to learn and I know it can feel a little overwhelming, but not to worry. If you're feeling like you need a bit of extra practice before going into a clinical setting, you can come to Open Lab and practice these skills. There's also lots of support for students through professors and even through peers. It's okay to feel a bit nervous, but don't worry. We're learning all these things together. So here at UBCO, we do a lot of hands-on practicum experience. Some of the places you can do your practical experiences are the medical ward, surgical ward, pediatrics, maternity, and even emergency. So there's so many things to enjoy. 
Nursing school would be very rewarding. In addition to learning so many interesting things, you get to possibly impact people's lives throughout your education. Just like two snowflakes, no two nursing student experiences are quite the same. So, congratulations on completing your first day of nursing school. High five! We thank you so much for joining us on our nursing tour and let's go get some hot chocolate. Sounds good.